Hello. Welcome to Just the Dis. My name's Brian. We talk about Blu-rays here. And today, um, I'd like to talk to you guys about some Mill Creek releases. Um, these particular re releases I've seen have gotten plenty of coverage on some other channels. So I thought, well, what can I do that would be interesting, um, you know, despite the fact that they've been talked about so much. And I thought, okay, well, why don't I just do some pairings? which is what we do on Pure Cinema. We like to pair films, you know, as an exercise and as an offering to give context or just for something fun to watch with another movie. And I think most of the pairings I've picked for the <laughs> these movies are the fun kind, the less about context, more about enjoyability. So um, let me just get into this. Uh, the first Mill Creek title I'm going to talk about is Rad. Rad, of course, already had a release uh, prior to this through Vinegar Syndrome on 4K, of all things, which blew my mind because I've been a fan of this movie since the late 80s when my family would rent it uh, quite a bit on VHS. It became something of a classic in our household, and we watched it a bunch, um, and yeah, it just really caught us. Just this idea of small town kid makes good, you know, young paper boy who's talented with his BMX bike, um, you know, decides to try and throw his hat into the ring with uh, this incredible, you know, racetrack called Hell Track that is coming to their small town. Uh, the lead guy, Crew Jones, played by Bill Allen was very charismatic and enjoyable and, you know, it was just a movie that stuck with me over time. You know, I'm not a big BMX guy or anything, but seeing the, you know, stunt work and trick work in this was always impressive. And I always, you know, later found it amusing that this is directed by Hal Needham, who is, you know, a stuntman himself and who made some classics with Burt Reynolds and, uh, I just thought this was a really interesting later filmography entry for Hal Needham. But that said, uh, it had been missing on video for years. I don't think there was an official DVD ever. Uh, so it went from VHS to not really being available to getting this 4K treatment, which was wonderful. But then it was, you know, too popular because it was such a nostalgia pick for a lot of people that I think... Uh, it got snapped up. That Vinegar Syndrome uh, version got sold out and left a lot of people um, not having the movie that they wanted to have, that they loved. So this is really neat that uh, Mill Creek, uh, you know, set this up and released this really nice steelbook edition of Rad. And um, they ported over, uh, I believe, some of the extras from that. Not, I don't know if it has all of them, but... Scanned and restored in 4K from its 35mm original camera negative. Uh, and it has the rad Q&A session featuring cast members Bill Allen, Bill Allen, Talia Shire, Bart Connor, screenwriter Sam Bernard, and hosted by uh, Jorma Tacone. Archival video interviews with the cast and crew and an original behind-the-scenes featurette, as well as the Break the Ice music video. I do have the soundtrack to this film on vinyl, and uh, I'm a big fan of it. Um, but yeah, I like this movie a lot. You know, and so when I started thinking about it, I was like, oh, there is a pairing that immediately came to mind that I'd actually really like to do at some point, And that is with this movie, Thrashin, uh, from 1986. Uh, Josh Brolin stars in this movie uh, about a skateboard kid who goes out to California. Uh, I think he's trying to go to a contest. Uh, downhill skating competition uh and he finds himself falling for this girl played by pamela gidley and she's um inextric inextricably tied to this gang of evil skateboarders called the daggers led by robert rustler who of course is in weird science and other films vamp um but it's just a very enjoyable you know skate movie and uh slacker movie kind of thing but, you know, similar thing. There's a competition involved. And I always thought, like, 
as a theatrical experience, it would be a blast to see Rad and Thrash and Rack. I did get to see a midnight screening of Thrash in, in Los Angeles years ago, and it was really wonderful. And uh, this movie needs more notoriety. Now, I know what you're saying. Brian, Thrashing is out of print on Blu-ray. What are you doing to me? Why are you trying to offer a pairing that is going to cost a lot of money or I can't really see it? And you're right, and I'm sorry. I just had to bring it up because it's a favorite. Uh, and I do hope that this one gets picked up by another label. Maybe Vinegar Syndrome, for all I know. Um, I thought they'd do a great special edition. This is an all of films release, and it's totally bare bones. So it doesn't really have much in the way of extras. But I snapped it up right away, right away when it came out because I'm I'm a big proponent of thrashing. Um, that said, I didn't want to leave you with uh, a pairing like that. I also thought maybe uh, BMX Bandits would be a fun pairing. Brian Trenchard Smith's little biker adventure movie would be a fun pairing to go with this. This is a Severn release from, God, almost 10 years ago now. And I was like, okay, that'd be good. You got BMX bikes and Nicole Kidman's in this one, and it's super fun. Also out of print. Sorry about that. Uh, so I struck out twice, but I had to bring it up. Uh, there may be other ways. This may be on Tubi or something. Same thing goes for Thrashing. There may be some streaming ways you can see those films. So I do uh, want to offer them up as possibles for your rad pairing. Um, but I know that's mean to do two out of print discs in a row. I hope this one's not a print. I didn't actually check, but here's my other pairing for uh, Rad. This is a totally off the wall bike movie pairing where you have uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt in Premium Rush, which I still feel like is a pretty underrated movie, directed by David Kep, of all people. Um, Mr. Stir of Echoes, among many others, uh, screenwriter extraordinaire uh, in Hollywood. And yeah, it's just a very interesting bike messenger thriller with a very good bad guy played by Michael Shannon. And I've always thought this movie was a lot of fun ever since it came out. And I feel like it got a little, you know, cult fandom a little bit after it was released. But now I feel like nobody's talking about it anymore. I know this one's definitely streaming. It's a new enough movie. I think this Blu-ray is still in print. Um, but I thought, okay, bike movie, you know, <laughs> I got to get something that people could buy if they wanted to. So Premium Rush and Rad, I do think that's an interesting combo too. You know, it's a totally different type of movie, but a bike movie nonetheless. So those are my pairings for Rad. My next key, um, sorry, my next Mill Creek title, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. One of the VHS uh, retro covers. I do prefer the cover with Estelle Getty with a large caliber machine gun. That's better than the traditional, that one there. Um, but anyway, uh, I haven't seen this movie in forever. Notoriously uh, pretty ridiculous and has Sylvester Stallone saying the film's quite ludicrous title out loud as part of the dialogue very early on. I want to say within the first 10 minutes of the movie. Um, but it's still oddly memorable. I don't know why. It felt disposable at the time, but now I'm like, Sylvester Stallone and Estelle Getty in a cop movie, I think? Is he a cop? Yeah, Los Angeles Police Sergeant Joe Bamowski <laughs> has his life turned upside down when his feisty mother, Tootie, uh, comes to town for a rare visit. Yeah, so she gets into his business, and um, it's very silly. Uh, who directed this? I'm trying to remember... Roger Spottiswood. Wow, that is interesting. I totally forgot about that. Um, okay, well, that said, uh, <laughs> I am very curious to revisit this one, despite all that. Uh, but it did get me thinking about Stallone movies and what would be a fun pairing with this. You know, I thought maybe Oscar or one of his comedies, but then I was like, no, 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 no. Let's go the other way. Let's go serious cop movies or, you know, quasi serious that he did, and I thought, well, what would go with Stop or My Mom Will Shoot? What about Nighthawks? <laughs> a much more serious film where um, Stallone, is he part of a task force, I think, in this one? Uh, star, riveting story of suspense. When Europe's most fe feared terrorist, Rutger, Rutger Hauer, explosively announces his presence in Manhattan, two elite undercover cops, Stallone and Billy D. Williams, are assigned to him before he strikes again. 
So they're undercover cops, and there are definitely some scenes, uh, famous scenes that I've seen used in interviews with Stallone on talk shows where he dresses as a woman as a disguise, and there's a great shot where he turns around and reveals it's him in a wig, and I've seen that on multiple talk shows. I feel like Jay Leno did it to him and somebody else, maybe Letterman. Uh, they like to use Nighthawks as bait for him, but it's a really good movie and a very suspenseful movie. And I, I'm just a big fan of this one. And I was really excited when Shout Select put out this Blu-ray um, with new interviews with a bunch of the people involved. And yeah, I just, I'm a fan. So, you know, more serious cop movie to turn the, flip the script on stuff for my mom will shoot, Nighthawks. Or a little bit more obvious, but Cobra. <laughs> Let's go Cobra. I, I I would be very curious what the audience reaction would be to a stop or my mom will shoot Cobra double bill because Cobra is pretty intense despite some crazy stuff that happens in it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this one. We did a great episode, not because of anything I did, but because Brendan Small, my friend, uh, is on the episode and he does a heck of a good Sly Stallone <laughs> impression. Um, so if you go back into the Just the Disc podcast, you can check out the Cobra 10 to Midnight episode we did. Anyway, uh, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot and Cobra. Think about it. Could be fun. Okay. Next on the Mill Creek, we have My Girl and My Girl 2, starring a very young Macaulay Culkin and Anna Klumski in the first one, and then uh, Austin O'Brien and... Anna Klumski in part two. Um, I do remember seeing these as a kid, you know, like them kissing and jumping in the water. I remember the trailers. I remember Dane Aykroyd. Uh, I also remember some sadness. I'm not going to spoil that totally took me by surprise. I was really not ready for where some of this stuff goes. Um, and I also forgot Jamie Lee Curtis is in the second one. Um, but uh, I kind of like to show these to my daughter. Uh, I think she might have an appreciation for them, although she's somewhere between these two ages at this point. Um, but nice to see uh, My Girl, My Girl 2 double bill getting a release from Mill Creek. Um, and so I started thinking about coming of age films and I don't know, something about the that particular shot of them jumping in the water got me going and I was like what's a what's a nice coming of age movie that could go with that and I thought okay what about this The Quest this is uh, another Brian Trenchard Smith I didn't even realize I'd tied him in this uh, video twice uh, 1986 Henry Thomas post E.T. Um, new 4K restoration by the way uh, this one is the story of a young kid who um, he I want to say this takes place in Australia and they, I don't think they actually hide that. I don't think they're trying to make it Australia for the U S or something like that. But, um, uh, he plays this sort of defiant young kid who's, you know, got some like imagination stuff. Like he's kind of an inventor. The opening is him riding this crazy bike thing that he's made where he can ride his bike on the train tracks and try and, he's trying to do some kind of race, like get to this next station and all the kids are watching and they're excited. And he sort of ends up at this little, um, lake and this monster thing seems to pop its head out and it becomes this mystery of what is this monster? Where did it come from? What's happening? Uh, and there's this girl involved and he's very into her and it's a really sweet movie. And, and one of Trenchard Smith's best films, I think, uh, so I was really excited to see this get a Blu-ray. It's also known as Frog Dreaming. It came out from Umbrella Entertainment as well. I think this is pretty much a porting over most of the stuff, the, the transfer and everything like that, uh, and the commentary with Trenchard Smith and his editor and Henry Thomas looking back. I mean, it's it's got some, some cool features on it. Uh, but it's just one of those 80s gems I remember seeing on VHS. We probably rented it right around the time we rented Rad, now that I think about it. So uh, that ties back into that. But I thought, okay, fun coming-of-age movie. Let's put the quest with My Girl and My Girl 2. Or back to Shout Select, uh, Whale Rider, which is a really neat story of uh, a small Maori village that is in crisis because the heir to the leadership of the Nagati Kanoe 
uh, has died at birth and is survived only by his twin sister. And although disregarded by her grandfather and shunned by the people of her village, 12-year-old Pai remains certain of her calling and trains herself in the ways uh, and customs of her people. With remarkable grace and courage, uh, Pai summons the strength to both challenge and embrace a thousand years of tradition in order to fulfill her destiny. So a really neat coming-of-age movie um, that I think also ties into some nature stuff that I don't know why I associate that with my girl, but... The, just the kids being outside kind of made me think of it. And this is another one that I've watched with my daughter and she liked it, you know, a good deal. Um, so it just came to mind. Just another one that you could pair with My Girl and My Girl 2 and I think would work. And uh, this Blu-ray is pretty nice. It's got a director commentary and some featurettes and stuff. Um, and it's been out a little while now. I don't feel like people were talking about it too much when it came out. And I just want to remind people... This is a good movie. It's out there. It's good for your family watching. Whale Rider. Okay. And my last Mill Creek title is The Babe. And uh, this one is directed by Arthur... No, I'm sorry. Written and produced by John Fusco. Directed by Arthur Hiller, who I always think of as the guy who did uh, The In-Laws, among other things. Although I don't know if The In-Laws is the best pairing with The Babe. But John Goodman plays the legendary Babe Ruth in this one. And it's sort of a, not cradle to grave, but it's a, you know, young kid, you know, going, it says from his hard knock beginnings at a Baltimore orphanage to his meteoric rise to baseball superstardom, his poignant retirement from the game, his amazing life and career included seven American League pennants, four World Series championships, and two, uh, and two tempestuous marriages in a wild lifestyle that earned him numerous suspensions. The Babe is the definitive story of one sport's most fascinating figures capturing all the drama and excitement of the greatest player in baseball history. I haven't seen this in forever. I do remember John Goodman's performance being very good in it, and so I'm definitely curious to check it out. You know, I, I remember liking him in this, and I like baseball movies. Baseball is not my sport of choice. I don't have a particular sport of choice really. Uh, but I, I do like it. I was trying to think of some baseball movies, but most of them were pretty well known. So I pulled out a deep cut that is on DVD only. And, uh, it is called death on the diamond. This is a Warner archive DVD. Sorry to talk about DVDs on a Blu-ray channel, but, uh, I do think this one's interesting. It is, um, uh, Hard luck club rallying toward the pennant, but with a killer afoot. Uh, they're on a losing streak of lives. A brisk, well-placed matchup of whodunit and national pastime. Death on the Diamond boasts a roster of all-stars who hit this improbable plot out of the park with humor and conviction. It says, after bat boy Mickey Rooney finds uh, acid-laced gloves at the spring training, suspects and targets mount all season long, compelling Pitcher Robert Young, himself a suspect, despite dodging two assassination attempts to bring his A-game to catching the murderer. Is it a financier poised to snatch the franchise in its indebted, from its indebted owner? Uh, a gambling cartel to, uh, <laughs> angling to improve its odds? Ex-players ejected from a betting scandal? Um, there's a lot of suspects. So I just like the idea of a baseball whodunit. There weren't enough of these. And this one is, you know not like a high budget thing. It's 71 minutes, but, uh, very enjoyable, um, lesser seen baseball whodunit. Um, and then I just thought, you know, if you want to see another good virtuoso John Goodman performance, you can really go left field and, and try Barton Fink, uh, which came out from Kino. I think John Goodman is incredible in this movie. And I, I just think he's a great actor all around. Like I've loved to see, uh, that there's been some resurgence, you know, him showing up in some of the, um, you know, the, the Kong, is it K Skull Island, I think he's in, and, you know, 10 Cloverfield Lane and things like that. I just think he has always been one of our greatest character actors, and I love to see him continue to get used. But he is incredible in this movie and unforgettable. If you haven't seen the film, then you won't know what I'm talking about. But uh, if you have, it definitely will have stuck with you. Um, anyway, I just thought that was a wild and weird thing you could try with the babe if you want uh but anyway 
Uh, oh, and this Blu-ray is great, by the way. Really good Kino Blu-ray with lots of extras and interviews, etc. So, <laughs> the Babe and Barton Fink. Uh, but that'll do it for my Mill Creek talk. Uh, definitely check out these uh, Blu-rays if you can. And uh, if any of these pairings work for you, let me know. If you have other ideas for pairings, things that are on Blu-ray that you think might work, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.